Welcome back to another Foodie Friday. It's your favorite dynamic duo B Mars and Shanti. And we're eating something extra special today, which is kimchi pancakes. This is a mommy tang recreation. Uh -huh. Well, I've seen other people do it, but we got it from Mommy Tang, and it's also a recreation from an old OG Mukbang Monday video. Yeah, was it on whose channel? Mine. It was on your channel? Yeah, because I was so excited to make them. I was freaking out, and you were so, you told me in the video, I watched at like, the beginning of it, it's a little cringy. Oh god, I hate watching our old our videos. videos. I'll link it in the description below so you can watch it after you watch this one. And cringe along with And us. you can just laugh at like the progress. We're just so much more comfortable with the camera now. Really? Mm-hmm. That's good. And we also, I feel like we're talking in accents a lot, which we find really funny, but like we don't really explain that. We just start talking in accents. Yeah. So I'm like, what are we doing? But the recipe was still really bomb. I remember them still being like so, so good. good. It, that was like a year ago. Well, yeah, maybe year. two. Mm, probably like a year and a half. Year and, yeah. This is one of the like first Mukbang Monday videos. Is and we're it? saying Mukbang. Oof. And so now I'm like, oh, that's cringy. <laughs> <laughs> but it's really funny. Um, so, yeah. So yeah, basically we're gonna recreate that video on this channel so you guys can have it here. Mm -hmm. and, and that one we're cooking in the kitchen. Yeah. This is before we had this guy. It's just so, so much more convenient. This is, I love this setup now. Yeah, me too. Um, so for this recipe, we're gonna be using, this is like almost a whole jar of kimchi. This is mother-in-law's vegan spicy kimchi. Mm -hmm. Ouch, I just got burnt. It's okay. okay. And we're also gonna be adding some green onions. Mm. This is like three of them. And we have some whole flour. flour. Mommy Tang says you can use any kind of flour you'd like. Oh, good. Like if you're gluten free or yada yada, you know. And then also you need water to mix it. To mix it. And, and that's basically it. Yeah. We we're gonna add some salt because Mommy Tang adds some like Vietnamese spice no vegetable seasoning vegetable seasoning uh which we don't have so we thought we'd just see salt yeah i've seen that in stores more it's basically just like salt and like some like vegetable extract flavors i guess Should and we, are we also gonna do garlic well i was gonna oh, for the bok choy yeah mm, on the side getting ahead of myself we're gonna be having some bok choy to get <clears throat> sorry do you know when you get spit down the wrong yes that's, that's been right? happening to me this is a sidebar sorry lately when i brush my teeth in the morning i'm like really parched, but the first thing I always do is brush my teeth, which I guess I should just go get some water. Yeah. And then you know when you like gargle, like gargle, to spit? Never gargle. <laughs> you just got some toothpaste in the back of your throat? Well, I just like spit it out. Oh, I always like <laughs> gargle to get back deep in the tonsils, you know? Yeah. But lately when I've been gargling, I've been choking because I'm just like, I have so cotton mouth, so I'm like, <clears throat> and I like swallow toothpaste. Oh God. Yeah, it's happened like three times. I'm like, <laughs> just remember to go drink like, some water. I don't know what's What a happening. way to start the day. <laughs> I know. Anyway, choke yourself. Yeah. Anyways, <laughs> we're gonna be having some baby bok choy. Mm -hmm. This is probably like four, four cups. Yeah, it's like four like big baby, baby babies. toys. <laughs> and baby babies. we're gonna stir fry those in this pan after we cook up our pancakes. And this is already like getting hot, so we should just jump right into the, to the video. The okay. recipe. So first you need a big old bowl to mix your batter. Uh huh. So first thing, it's fierce. You're gonna yes. add the kimchi. Move this over so you guys can see the mixing. Just be careful, don't burn yourself again. No, it's okay. Do you want me to move that? Nah. Okay. Got it. You make me nervous. All right, so this is um, approximately like one and a half cups, I think. It's around that. And you wanna cut them really small. Yeah. You know, like scissors. I chopped them up, but yeah. Yeah, they're like in see. little pieces. Yeah. Bum, ba, dum. And then next. We're gonna add the flour. Mommy Tang doesn't measure anything, as you know if you are a fan, but I was kind of watching some other recipes, and this is like a cup and a half. The guy used one cup of flour, so should we use like a half, and like see how it looks, or three fourths? I think we should use a whole cup, or like really? even one and a half cups, yeah. Cause I think Mommy Tang was just like scooping it in, and she used a whole can of kimchi. Kimchi, yeah. Okay, so let's do one cup. Yeah, it's hard because when I make my own recipe videos, I don't I don't measure myself when I'm cooking. I just kind of eyeball it, but it's so hard for other people to follow you then. Yeah. But I can see where she's like coming from, you know? But basically, so one cup. Yeah. She just said you want like an overall like pasty like yogurt consistency. Mm -hmm. That's what I remember her saying. Like if you ever made regular pancakes, it should be that same 
Yeah. Like not too watery, not too chunky. Should we use the same thing? Yeah. Cup of water? I think a half know. a cup. You want to just like add it in slowly and stir? Yes. Beep, beep, boop, bop, bop. So, and to replace the vegetable seasoning, I'm just adding some pink Himalayan sea salt. Isn't that so fancy? That's so fancy. Look at you. Oh, living our best life. <laughs> I've looked at that like vegetable seasoning in uh, H Mart before, like mm -hmm. the same one that she, Mommy Tang has, and it just had like 800 milligrams of sodium in like a teaspoon. So that's why I didn't buy it. But I've seen it in stores. 800? Yeah, I was like, might as well just use salt. Might as well just give yourself a heart attack. <laughs> How does this look? It looks great. She looks good. I think that's right. I feel like you can't really mess up. <laughs> that's my motto on yeah. cooking. As long as you can eat it, I'm gonna put this in there. <laughs> as long as it's edible. <laughs> <laughs> if you die, then you know you, you effed up. You so. messed up. Okay. All right, so I think our pan is like pretty hot. Should we just like go up or on? Go into it. Okay. Ugh. I got a nose itch. So we need some type of oil for this recipe. So I'm using avocado oil. It has just a great flavor, I must say. Yeah. I actually really like avocado oil for my. You see how avocado. <laughs> I love avocado. <laughs> I'll just go. You can finish this one today. <laughs> she loves avocado oil. <laughs> yeah, I love it on my face because it's a thicker oil without being olive oil, which I don't think has that many benefits for your skin. Um, but when I'm feeling super dry, I'll pat some on. I have it in my bathroom. Nice. Mm -hmm. I kind of gave up on the oils because I started getting all these whiteheads, and. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. And you also got sponsored by Derma E, right? Sure did, even though they haven't sent me anything yet. <laughs> figuring, still figuring that out. All right, I hope that's enough. That's what Mommy Tang did. Yeah, I think it looks good. Hmm. All so right. Just, should I do like a whole scoop? Yeah. Did you want to just do one at a time or two at a time? Last time I could only do one. Oh, really? Because it was a smaller pan. What did we Should I put use? it in the corner? We used your copper one. On what? The stove. We cooked on the stove? Yeah, because we didn't have this guy. What the hell? Did we take the camera with us? Yeah. You like filmed me and I filmed you. We like just passed it back and forth. Like real amateurs. Am I doing wow. this right? Should I make it flatter? Yeah, I guess so. I think we could fit another one on there. You think? Here. Here, do you want to see flat enough? Yeah, wait, you shouldn't use this because then we're not going to be able to flip it because it has stuff all over it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's alright. Just scoop it. Scrape it. Just use this. How's that? Is it watery enough? Oh, yeah, I think it's great. It's already, like, cooking on the bottom. Yeah. Can I, I put like another one up. in there? Yeah, I think so. Should I do, like, a smaller one? Oh, yeah, I love the sizzle. We're gonna hit you. Nope. Oh my god, we forgot something. What? It's galleons. Oh, shoot. Well, we still have a bunch of batter. Yeah. Yeah, I'll just add it to the rest. I also, I remember these being big chunks, but then I rewatched Mommy Tang's video and they were not big chunks, so. They're big chunks for us. <laughs> <laughs> but do whatever you want. Yeah. <laughs> How's that? Enough? Yeah. Good. I'm a fan of green onions. I know, we should put them in our bok choy. Yeah, that's a good idea. More onions the merrier. I'm trying to kill Oops. all infections or any viruses or bacteria in my body. Should I flip it? Oh, you have knowledge? Oh, there oh we go. wait. <laughs> <laughs> I honestly <laughs> forgot that I'm the green one. We must have both brought them over. Yeah. And like didn't realize the other person did it. Oh, I think he's ready to flip. Is it gonna be too early? I'll just do it. I feel like the bat the first pancake is always the worst. Yeah. Oh shoot, you know what we did forget? That was soggy. Plates. Oh yeah, I'll grab some. <laughs> Is you ready? I'm really excited. What the freak is that? Kimchi kimchi pancakes. Nothing you want. <laughs> Colin hates the kimchi. And so does Max. Really? It's just missing out on such an ideal part of life. Well, I do think it smells worse than it tastes. You know, mm -hmm. like he, he can't get past the smell. See, but I think bad kimchi smells really bad. But then like when you open that fresh jar of, um, this one, mother-in-law's, I was like, 
Really? Because I kind of thought it smelled it. really strong. Really? Yeah. I've, I've like grown to like it. But that's like how we were talking about in our Indian mukbang. Like I bet when you first smell things, you're like, what? And then you start to get used to it and like crave it. Or you know what it's associated with. Yeah, like exactly. Flavor wise. So your body's like, this is okay. Yeah, like when I smell eggs, I'm like, how the hell does anyone think that smells good? No, eggs don't not smell good. Like eggs cooking in the morning for breakfast? No. Yeah. I agree. That's a terrible smell. <laughs> you don't think anyone likes that? Really? I think a lot of people like that smell. Really? Is it like, it's like breakfast time, like comfort food, I guess. I guess that's why I was a cereal growing up. That's <laughs> it smells horrible. I think this guy's done. Can I squish him? Yeah. Yeah. Mm, yeah. What do you think? I think he's, I think he's done. I remember last time they were kind of like squishy. They weren't like fluffy, like regular pancakes. Yeah. There's one. Should I just put them all on the same plate and we can divide them up? Yeah. You Keep them nice and warm. Look at how nice that turned out. Wait, that looks so cute. We're such chefs. I watched the cooking channel one time or like a chopped episode. Hmm. I like chopped. Or maybe it wasn't that. No, what I watched on the airplane coming home, you know how you have like limited options? Yeah. It was like Ooh. Rachel Ray or like- Oh, Rachel Ray, she's real popular. It was like all these chefs from the Food Network doing like takeovers with people who like are terrible cooks. It was like worst cooks in America or something like that. Did they own restaurants? Or are they just like- No, they're home. just like normal people. Oh, okay. And um, she, I remember her saying like, just critiquing all the chef's work and being like, these are cut like so irregularly. Like, you have to cut them up perfectly in the same size. And like, you have to peel your carrots first. And I'm like, I never peel my carrots no. or cut them the same size. I literally almost cut my finger off every time I cut stuff. So who's really the shit chef here? Yeah, so I feel like in that way, like I'm- I You're not like by the book. Yeah, I, I can yeah. like cook. But you make things, those- <gasps> what, 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 what? There's a mouse. Oh my, my God. God, in the daylight. No. He's just he's walking, walking along. so slowly. <laughs> he's leisurely walking. And now he's like licking his face. We need our phones out. Where's my phone? <laughs> my phone? Mine's charging right now. Do you have your phone? I don't know where it is. Oh my gosh. I cannot believe that just happened. Yeah, I don't want to scare this. Oh, it's right here. It's right here. It's right here, right? Oh it's been next to me this whole time. This isn't even real. Holy f That's a big rat. No way. That's a rat? That's a rat. <gasps> there he is. He's going right in there. Oh my house. god. He's about to take a picture for you. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wait. Where is he I can't see because he's, he's right below us. House. Look, he's right below us. Oh, oh my god. He's trying to figure out it. Oh, he saw us. Oh my god. Are he's you recording huge. this? I think I missed him. I don't know if that's a rat or a huge mouse. It looks like a huge mouse because rats are like have really thick tails. So if you guys don't follow us on Snap. Snapchat. Which I feel like nobody even uses Snapchat. Yeah, anymore. which I'm I'm done using Snapchat probably to be honest. So just follow us on Instagram. <laughs> but um, we posted like this huge story. We found a hole in the wall and like poop all in like it's not in the cabinets. It's like below like where your cabinet drawers sit. Yeah, it was on our lower cabinet drawer. We pulled it out. There was a hole and all this rat poop or mouse poop. Mouse poop. And then we got it cleaned out, they patched up the hole, but then the mice are like running through our back porch, which literally just happened. But I thought it was over with because, so we saw the hole, we patched up, didn't see mice, and then one day there was one in our kitchen. Literally in our kitchen, like I moved the fridge because the cats were freaking out and he was just like chilling. And we were like- But that was a like little baby mouse. So I think that was like the baby. Yeah, and we were freaking out. He's we still like, right there, he's just hanging out. <laughs> He's alive and well. All right, so our pancakes are done. Oh, they look so good. Just throw in that box, Choi. We yeah. paused our mouse story. We will continue when we're eating. Yeah. Um, it's been a fiasco. Next, we're gonna be adding in the bok choy. Um, we have some garlic. I love this uh, can jarred garlic because it's so easy but i feel like it doesn't you like a lot of garlic yeah me too <laughs> i feel like it doesn't really taste as strong as like chopped garlic yeah it's so much more convenient it's a little like diluted i'm just gonna add this in this cooks really fast and we're gonna be adding in a little bit of sesame oil just for some flavor flavor. you remember that show yeah i do we wear that big cloth. 
Yeah. God, MTV. Does MTV still like exist? I don't know. And some black pepper. I think Tyro like heard the mouse or something because he just left off his perch and pushed it to the window. I'm like waiting for the mouse to come back. Just like Tyro outside. And I'm gonna add in some more sea salt. Just cover it and it'll cook perfectly. Oh, it smells so good. I know. So we're finally ready to chow down. Oof, I'm so excited. Me too. That was so loud. <laughs> I think so is Cairo. He saw the, the rat slash mouse earlier. He's getting hungry too. Okay. We got some black sesame seeds. Fancy. I don't really like these ones that much. Really? Yeah, I like the regular ones better. We'll get them. They look so weird. How am I gonna cut this? I feel like I need a knife. I'm gonna move this forward so you guys can see our plates. And the bok choy, we're just letting it like cook a little bit more. Yeah, get a little bit warmer. Oh. Yeah, do we need knives? I kind of just chopped it with my chopstick. I'm just gonna rip off a piece. Mm -hmm. Hi, Cairo. Hi, hello. I know, I saw the mouse too. No, we were just about to take a bite. He's like, I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> Came just in time. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. I think we did great. We did great. Those ratios are perfect. Yeah, even though we didn't really like measure the water. Them. I feel like the water you just have to kind of keep watching. Yeah. Mmm. Mm. So good. What does mommy tang eat with hers? I don't remember. It's so squishy. I don't know. It's not like a pancake, like a fluffy like breakfast pancake. No. It's kind of like a flatbread. It's so funny, I'm like ripping my apart. I'm just using my hands to rip it apart. Yeah. One of the guys mm. that I was watching make this and I was trying to figure out ratio said that um, we go for Chinese New Year. Really? Mm. Cool. Ugh. So good, we were starving. We went to the gym this morning. This is making some noises. I think that should be good. Mm -hmm. We'll turn her off. She ready. Have you ever had just scallion pancakes? Mm-mm. Neither, but I always see them on like Chinese food restaurant menus. Wait, so it's just the green onion? Mm-hmm. And like batter? Oh, weird. That'd be good though. I don't know, try it. Mm-hmm. Oh, this is delicious. I already got a whole pancake down. I'm so hungry. Killed it. I want some, uh, srirachis. Hmm. Shunku. So, about the mouse story. Oh, yeah. Where, Where do we finish? leave off? Oh, you saw it behind the fridge. Yeah, well, our cats were... Our cats have been freaking out for the past, like, month because they can hear them, like, in the wall, so they'll just, like, stare at the walls and, like, wait patiently. And so they were in the kitchen just like waiting by the fridge and stove. And so we moved the stove out. There was nothing there. And we were like, oh, they must, it must be nothing. Then we moved the fridge out. There was nothing there. And we were like, oh, well, I don't know why they're freaking out. Like, it must be nothing. And so we like had left the fridge and stove pulled out because I was going to vacuum behind it. Yeah. And so I like left, came back. The fridge is still out. The cats are still like staring at nothing. And I went to like get something around the other side of the fridge and me and the mouse just locked eye contact. And I was like, <laughs> no! Yeah. And he was just sitting there, like looking up at me. And it was like a tiny little baby mouse, but it looks, it's the same color as this big one. And then this is even, they must be like field mice or something. No, field mice are really tiny. Though That's really? definitely a bigger than that. But it's, I don't think it's a rat because they used to have pet rats. They have like thick tails. His tail was pretty thick. No, like, it looks like a worm or something. Oh. But and then I was doing laundry, and our laundry is, like, in the unit. We just, like, walk outside. And there was a huge mouse, like, the one sitting out here. It was sitting on top of the pool fence. Did I ever tell you that? No. Oh, really? I thought I did. I don't remember. We might have. Ugh, so gross. Mm. And so anyways, we... Had one guy can't come, he patched up the hole and put in poison like in the wall so that they would like eat the poison and then go like die. 
which is really sad. I don't want them to die. I just don't want them to be here. It, yeah. You know? And then he, when I called them again, um, oh, so continue on the story. So Chantal saw it in the fridge. Yeah. And we contacted the guy and um, he came the next day. Back but, for the second time. Yeah. But uh, Chantal and Colin had left to go to Hawaii. And so I was here with, um, by myself. And the guy was like, well, I'm just going to put a bunch of rat poison everywhere. And I was like, you can't do that. I have two cats. He's like, obviously stupid. Like, sorry for a lack of a better word. He's like, no, it's totally fine. Like, it's just poison for rats. And I was like, poison is poison, man. Like, like what if they think it's not going to eat it? They're going to die. Like, you would die if you ate it. And so I just felt really I'm uncomfortable sorry. putting a bunch of poison in her house, especially without them here. And I don't know. So I, I was just like, no, I don't want to do that. Let's just wait. We'll contact you when we know what we want to do. The next day, Max comes over, and I hear like some rummaging around no, the kitchen, no. and I was like, "What is that?" And then I hear literally squeaks. No, you didn't tell me that. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, but I didn't they know were what in I, here again. Yeah, but it. This is the picture. Oh, I'm oh, yeah. oh, 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 oh. So I was <laughs> like, um, but I didn't realize there were squeaks at the time. Like looking back ew, at it, I know that gives me the heebie-jeebies. I know. And then I look over, and Cairo is just walking with it dangling in his mouth and so I'm like no like screaming because I, granted he did his job I know cats like whatever but like you don't know what kind of diseases they're carrying or lice or mites or you know what I mean and that can transfer onto your cats so easily Ew. which I was like drop it but by the time he, he dropped it it was dead and that made Max throw it away Ew, I wish you weren't talking about this right now I know but I thought that was the end until yeah. right now, where we just saw it in our backyard. No, I knew that was a different one, because the one in our house was like a little baby. Yeah, and that, that one was not. Like double the size. And the one that Cairo killed was not a baby. Really? Mm -mm. No, I think that was the same one. It was smaller. When I sent you the picture, I covered half of it with a towel. Yeah, but I thought that I was respect. the same guy. <laughs> respect. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, as long as they're not in our house. Like, like I don't care. Live your life outside, but like... I don't want a bunch of poop and yeah, like just mouse poop everywhere. And you're exactly what you said. Like you don't know like what they're bringing into our house. Mm -hmm. They're like city rats or mice. And we've had cats had fleas. It was hell on earth. It was so hard to get rid of them. Yeah. So that's the mouse story. Yeah. Let us know if you guys have ever had mice in your house. I mean, my parents have little field mice in their basement. Sometimes, but they have like four cats, so it's not really a problem for them, but I like it'll get figured out too. And like city rats or mice are different than like little field mice, I feel like. Mm -hmm. I don't know, city animals and like city pests are so much grosser to me just because like, I feel like disease is way more prevalent in cities, you know? And oh, like, 100%. And there's just way more people and things. Exactly. Ugh. Um, well, today, since this is a Foodie Friday, we have another topic for you guys. This video might be a long one, so buckle up, <laughs> get a snack, get some popcorn. Um, make a pancake. Make some pancakes. So today's topic is brought to us by Lisa. Lisa. Who, it's just, she doesn't have a last name or anything, but she always comments on our videos and she, we love her so much. Her Topic says, since you two aren't originally from Los Angeles, I'd love to know what your thoughts are on living there. How different is it from other cities you've lived in? What are the pros and cons? Do you think you'll be living there for the rest of your lives? Thanks, B Mars and Shanti Hart. Thanks so much, Lisa. Uh, we love like you. Everyone is very interested in LA. I feel like we get so many questions about living in LA. Living in LA. Well, it is very different from like your little hometown, you know? No. Mm. Well, I feel like we talk about this a lot, just like in our Sprinkle. side banter, mm -hmm. like sprinkled in a lot of our videos, but I mean, this will be like our one concise, like LA video. So you want to start? Um, the last question she asked, do you think you'll live in LA forever? No, <laughs> I don't think so. Just, it's so expensive to live here and you're living on top of people and I don't know, like it's fun right now and I would like to live maybe close to LA so I could like visit visit or like if I wanted to continue auditioning as an actor or whatever, but to live in the city like with your rent this high and like lack of space and like I want a yard and a dog and I don't know. 
Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, no, I definitely don't think I'll live in LA forever. I really, like, crave, like, a garden and, like, fresh air and... I don't know, I really want to grow my own food eventually. So, I feel like I could live, like, maybe, like, two hours outside of LA. Mm -hmm. I really like the West Coast. But the other thing is all my family's on the East Coast. So I don't, I'm like at a point where I don't even know what to do with my own life, you know? Yeah. Because I obviously want to like be close to my family, but I really can't stand winter. And I don't know, I just like the West Coast so much better. But it is really hard, especially if like, if I have kids ever, like I'd want to be by either like Max's family or my family. Yeah. Because I feel like it would help a lot. Well, and like you want your kids to like grow up around your family too, you know? Mm-hmm. But um, that kind of brings us into like pros and cons, like why we wouldn't want to live here forever. Um, I feel like the pro is just there's so much opportunity. Like growing up in like a small town, you only have like one dance studio. Yeah. You don't have like the option of like trying out every major things. like dancer in LA, like taking class from them, you know? Or yeah. People in the industry. Um, sorry. <laughs> and just like, if your kid ever wants to like be an actor like they have way more opportunity out here mm -hmm. versus like being a small town you'd have to like commute like hours to do that for them so yeah. i feel like that's a really cool thing about la is just the opportunity yeah ex in er and exposure the opportunity in entertainment yeah like specifically like it's uncomparable anywhere else even new york like you're not going to be able to get the same kind of auditions and the frequency that you are out here um yeah, so that's a pro. A yeah. con. <clears throat> just for like what we want to do especially, sorry. Yeah. Like, ugh. I know, it's hard because I do, I was just thinking a con as a dancer is like the type of dance out here. Like I miss dancing in New York and how like, I don't know, maybe it's changed since I was there, but like there were no cameras in the classroom and you know, you, I didn't have to wear makeup to class. Like I was there to work and to sweat and put my all in and now I feel like to go to class I have to perform and like your best. With my best and like it's like a mini audition every time. It's stressful to even go to class. Which used to be my safe space. Um so you're saying a, a con for you is just the style of class and style of dance. Yeah. Cause it is like extremely hip hop based. Yeah. And, and just performance. We kinda, yeah. And like all about your face. But we like grew up like very technical, like uh like ballet contemporary. Mm -hmm. And out here that is like in existence, but I like I would say like nine times out of ten we're going to a hip hop audition mm -hmm. versus like a contemporary audition. Yeah, like I can think of like one contemporary audition I've ever been to. But I would say, aside from like dance or like acting out here, a con is for me just like the amount of smog. Like to know I'm gonna go for a run outside and I'm not gonna be breathing in fresh air. Like, I'll run outside and I'll blow out, like, black from my nose when I get back. Yeah. And, I don't know, and just, like... I think I, that's every, like, that's just major city, right? Like, in New York? It's yeah. It would be like that, like... Right. But, I don't... Actually, I don't really think that'd be that bad in Boston. But, yeah, pro definitely, like, New York. But, yeah, I'm kind of getting to a point where I'm like, man, I just, I just want to breathe in fresh, fresh clean, air. like, I don't know. But another pro to the location besides the smog is really close to the beach. Yeah, you could go to the beach in 30 minutes. You could go on a hike. Like you were like 15 minutes away from like so many hikes. Yeah, the hikes in the ocean. Like I love being able to just like go to the beach, not even to like swim, but even just to look at it and just be like, yeah, like being by the ocean is amazing. Yeah, it just makes you like feel centered. Again, that makes sense. Yeah, um, and in New York, like, you can't, you don't have like the mountains like you do in LA. Yeah. Like you can't just like leave your drive out of your house and like go on a hike in like 15 minutes. And just having a car in general. Like that's a pro and a con. Mm -hmm. Because pro, you have your freedom. You don't have to rely on public transportation. But con, I love the subway. So convenient. Go anywhere. Okay. And parking and traffic, I'm sure you guys have all heard, is terrible out here. But you know what I thought? Like, the second I moved here, I was like, wow, because there are so many cars, every store has a parking lot. In Boston, like, you have to pay, like, hundreds of dollars to have a car. Oh, really? Yeah, there's no, it's not, like, or New York City, you can't have, park your car, mm -hmm. like, in your apartment. Yeah. But, um, 
so yeah, I thought that was really cool. And just like, you can even just like drive to the bank and park in their lot. You know, you can't do that in LA. You have to, I mean, in New York, you can't like drive to the grocery store. You have to like carry your groceries with you. Yeah, that makes sense. So I thought that was really cool, but also then you have like traffic, smog. Parking and like, well parking, I'd say just like, depends where more you go. so, yeah, like in Santa Monica, I was looking for meters. Mm -hmm. so. This is what I always think about is um, the amount of space that you get when you have an apartment. Like when you live in New York or even Boston, you live in a shoebox and you live so cramped. And out here, I was shocked at the amount of space, you, like square footage you get. Mm -hmm. And you get a closet, you get like a full size kitchen. New York, I had like a half size fridge and a half size oven. And my bedroom was like, literally fit my bed and that's it. Yeah. And so out here, it's so nice to like have an actual like- Most like two bedroom space. apartments are like a thousand square feet. 900 to 1,000 square feet. Yeah. Average, which I think is pretty good. The pro, or LA, it was there's a lot of more healthy options everywhere and like vegan options and yeah. just like cool boutique type restaurants and coffee. Like, Max was sleeping here the past couple days. I made it a point to like go to a different coffee shop every day and mm. just not go to your local Starbucks. And I was talking to my mom for Mother's Day. <clears throat> And I was like, oh, I took Max for the first time to Olive Garden. And she was like, well, he's bougie because he lived in like a major city. So he had options to like eat other things. Mm. Which I was like, you know, you're right. Like growing up, the Olive Garden was like the nice place to go. Yeah. But you didn't have like an actual you don't have, like, Italian family open an amazing restaurant and give you the best food ever. Like Olive Garden was that. Right. You have like way more options. Mm -hmm. I went to three different coffee shops all within like a two mile radius of my house that were not Starbucks. <laughs> yeah. You're not good. And just like uh, your exposure to so many different cultures too. Like mm -hmm. you could go get like Mexican food one night and then go get like Thai food, Vietnamese food. Like you could get literally anything. Anything. Ethiopian food. And what I love about LA is this is a pro and a con. Like I feel like there's so much room to be yourself because nobody, everybody is so on their own like grind. Mm -hmm. Nobody gives a about you really like nobody's gonna judge you versus when you're in a small town people are like well why is she doing that yeah and like, or why is she wearing that or yeah or that's acting. weird mm -hmm. but like out here you, you can do whatever yeah. you want you walk out and like a full sequence like jumpsuit people are like nobody questions it bats at eye which i think is really nice too yeah you can um, really like express yourself mm -hmm. but yeah. the con of that would be i guess it'd be hard to like make friends because there are so many people. It's overwhelming. Yeah, and like what I said this in the last video, it's kind of like, oh, I'm never gonna see them again. So like my inner, I don't have to be nice to them because I'm never gonna see them any anyways. Yeah, the likeliness of you seeing somebody. Yeah, or like I don't have to hold the door open for them because like, who cares? Yeah, versus like in a small town, you're like, you like greet everyone and you're like, oh, how are you? Like talk, stop and talk and like yeah. ask people how their day is. I just, I don't know if you guys watch Shane Dawson, um, but I just watched his Graveyard Girl series. And Bunny has like a huge mansion in Texas for like the same amount of money she's probably making as, you know, other YouTubers who have like big houses, but nothing compared to what she has in Texas. Like the amount of real estate for the amount of money. Yeah, you can ratio. afford way more yeah. when you go elsewhere. I'm like, I don't know. Like if I had kids, I'd want to provide them like the best life. Major pro that we haven't addressed yet. The reason I moved here, I wanted to dance and I wanted sunshine. Living in Pittsburgh and even growing mm. up in Boston, I would get so depressed in the winters, like literally like depressed, like crying for no reason. Mm -hmm. And I was like, what the fuck is wrong with me? And I literally, I need sunshine. <laughs> and so that's one of the literally like major factors of me moving here. Cause I had already lived in New York and I kind of remember thinking this when I moved out, I was like, I don't think I'd move back here unless I had an absolute like Job, job and purpose yeah because when you're in new york everybody's hustling like it's like this like the energy of the city is so anxious intense yeah and i remember being i was going to school and i remember thinking like wow if you don't have a purpose this gets so overwhelming like you need like yeah and i wouldn't move there unless i had a job because it's so expensive the weather does affect you more uh, than you know i didn't realize like i was depressed until i left pittsburgh and i just not that I became a new person, but I definitely was just like angrier all the time and like 
bitter and like never wanted to leave my house because it's just freezing. like no motivation yeah and i remember i was gonna move to chicago and i went there and i walked i was staying at a friend's house and i walked to like the subway mm. and it was so cold and windy that i like tears like freezing to my face and i like stopped midway walking to the subway and just turned around and, and i was like you know what this audition isn't even worth it because you know because i know gonna... i'm just gonna be i can't do another year of this because the four years in pittsburgh was hell especially my last year in pittsburgh because we had a snow apocalypse and our our pipes froze and me and my ex like street was flooded and froze over and it was like oh my god a literal nightmare that's awful and it was just so much like we didn't have running water for four days so we'd have to like go down to the starbucks down the street or whatever and to just go to the bathroom i pee like every hour so it was miserable we have cats wow i didn't really know that yeah it was pretty hard yeah one year in pittsburgh I feel like Pittsburgh winters aren't as bad as Boston though, but it just rains so much and it's so overcast in yeah, Pittsburgh. Yeah, it's always cloudy. Yeah, uh, my last year living in Pittsburgh, or maybe it was the second to last year, our um, our heater broke in the middle of winter mm. and they couldn't come to like the next day. She was like, okay, just like wait it out like tonight and I'll come the next day. And me and Vicky decided to stay. We had like like a little electric heater and we were like cuddling in the bed together and it was literally like 40 degrees in our room and we were so freezing that's dangerous really yeah <laughs> you could die well we had a little electric heater so we thought we would be okay but yeah it, it did not like heat the room at all it doesn't work uh yeah. i think th those are like the major pros and cons pros i can, I can think about yeah. yeah i mean in, in every city in general has pros and cons but you have to just figure out what works for you and what doesn't like i'm sure like things that are our cons would be other people's deal breakers yeah but for us it's just like mm, it's annoying yeah i do like uh how everything is so spread out sorry <laughs> how we we don't live like downtown like in the city but we live like in like a nice little neighborhood so you have like more space so I just remember like living in New York and you look up, you can't even like see the full sky because there's just like buildings, like everything's so big and you feel like kind of claustrophobic. Yeah. What? So that's what I like about here. There's like so many different neighborhoods you could live in. Mm hmm. That, and but you can still like it drive downtown. It still and, like, feels like homey. Yeah. It's like homey, but like you can be downtown in like 20 minutes. Yeah. I like that too. I'm full. All right. Well. Thank you guys so much for joining us for this recipe mukbang. And if you liked it, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. I definitely would recommend trying this recipe at home. It's not uh, hard. It's so it's like easy. Three ingredients. All you need is like a whole jar of kimchi, which is kind of annoying. <laughs> yeah, because like that can be expensive. But yeah, that's really the hardest part. You got some kimchi. Totally make this. Yeah, especially if it's getting older too. Yeah, I feel like this is a good way to like use it up, do something with it. Um, let us know in the comments below if you've ever been to LA, if you would move to LA. Mm -hmm. I feel like people have so many strong opinions about LA. Yeah, people are like, I hate LA. They're like, I love LA. Do you like LA overall though? Overall, yeah. I love I mean, LA. Obviously, I, it's, it's been my, it's about to be my fourth year here. Yeah. I love it. I just don't think I'm going to live here forever because I want to have a garden. It, it's like my 20s is my hustle time. You know what I mean? But I feel like I am stressed out all the time here. I probably do that to myself, but you know, I literally in the middle of this mukbang just got a call for an audition and they're like, can you go? It's in two hours. And it's like, why is life like this? Like, so I feel like I'm always kind of just grind, grinding and have that anxiety, but I feel like when I like settle down, yeah, I don't know, relax. But then like, am I going to be bored? Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> well let us know um some pros and cons about the town that you live in mm. and if you would ever come here oh speaking of foodie friday in general i know it has been a while since we've done one and it is going to continue to be a while because in june is when i go on tour for ultra mm -hmm. and when i come back chantal is going to visit her family yeah, in so Boston for the 4th. We're going to be traveling a lot this summer, so we're going to have to put the Foodie Fridays on, like, the back burner. Mm -hmm. um, if we happen to, like, have an extra video, we'll definitely post it for you guys, but... We want to make sure we have Mondays and Wednesdays set up. covered. And Wednesday's easy because we film by ourselves, so it's, like... Because the hardest part is we don't have set schedules, and then to set our schedules together 
it's really hard. So maybe if you'd want like more solo videos on Friday, we could do that. But I feel like the topic thing is kind of the Friday thing. I don't know. Yeah. So let us know what you guys want. We're reading the comments. We're listening. And we want to make sure you're happy. But we have to obviously do what's best for ourselves. Like it's physically impossible to post a Friday mm -hmm. in, in the next couple of months. Yeah, we're just going to be way too busy. Yeah. I'm literally not going to be home for three weeks. Yeah. So. Well, that's the deal with the Foodie Fridays. Um, leave us some topics you want us to talk about, maybe on like a Monday or Wednesday video mm -hmm. in the comments down below. Or if we get a special opportunity for a Friday. Yeah. And as you guys know, uh, leave your Instagram handle and follow us both on Instagram. And that's how we pick which Foodie Friday topic to use. Mm -hmm, All right, mm -hmm. Cairo is getting anxious. He's like, is it time for me to sit on your lap? <laughs> All right, well, thank you guys so much for watching. We love you guys. And I'll see you next time. Mukbang Monday out.